it is Black Friday today, at least in Bulgaria, guys. And I got myself an upgrade. Vena Speaks Tech here, VST. If you're keen to find out what I bought, say and watch this video, guys. If you like my videos, you can subscribe for my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you. I made a very good score, so that's my old PC. So this has been my old PC for a lot of years right now. It is running the Asus PQ5 Pro motherboard. And as you can see here on top, I have a very big, very, very big monstrous Noctua NH-C14. This is pretty much like, uh, actually this is the device that I'm having right now, to cool the whole thing, the whole beast, because I'm running a Xeon X5460, guys, right? And actually this has been my setup. I'm not sure if this is gonna be interesting for you guys. Maybe yes, maybe not. Anyway, I decided to share it. I decided also to make this video because I wanted to kind of like keep this thing uh, is a history because now this PC is going away and I actually start removing away some parts of it This has been the monstrous, you know graphic card that I'm using and honestly guys I didn't really play games for so long. I cannot remember was this like an R8 R9 whatever I do remember it's a Vapor Hicks. Uh, I think I bought it like two or three or four years ago Cannot tell you for sure but as this PC now is being torn apart, I just wanted to like do this video for myself that so I can go back in some years and just get the satisfaction of watching it. I put a lot of efforts into building this setup. Uh, as you can see here, we have a Cooler Master fan that has been attached. I also have a fan controller because I'm having a fan here and also some fans here to cool out the hard drives. I think you can see them probably. And here I have my main hard drive. So this one is my main drive. Western Digital Black Series. I'm running this one. I'm using this one as a main drive where I have my Windows and all like the software I use uh, for music production, for video making, recording whatsoever. This one I think I'm using for backups. It's an old hard drive of mine. And this one here I think is a 320 gigabytes of hard. And I have this like, it's a dedicated hard where I run my Hackintosh OS Higgs because you know of Logic and maybe some other cool like softwares that I want to test on the Mac OS. But guys, this has been really the computer that has been going things for me since the last years and actually maybe if I dismantle this I'm gonna show you later I had to cut the socket to fit in this Xeon processor so the Asus PQ5 Pro is gonna go to the history together with the Intel Xeon X5460 and now I'm gonna show you guys the things that I bought on the Black Friday and of course they're not brand new I got them from a big friend of mine who really made me like a present because I got him for like a very very like a for a bar bargain price but let me show you what okay. I got this here is the processor guys so don't get fooled by the Intel Core i7 box inside we have a Intel Xeon unlocked the W3550 right with a stock cooling so this is the main thing here but now I'm gonna show you now the best part guys so just take a look Asus Sabertooth X58 Motherboard, wow, Jesus Christ, the ultimate force. All right, and as you can see, it supports the Intel chipset X58 and of course Intel processors. I just saw that there was there is a online video by Linus made like nine years ago. So that's why I was uh, making a joke that I didn't really get some new things on the Black Friday, but still open the box inside and just want to show you quickly what it's there. Okay, actually, no, let me show you. This is very cool. This is the cool part I missed. So let's see, you can do this like this. Inside we see we have the Ceramics, Hetzing, Colting Tech, larger area for heat disruption, blah, 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 blah. ESP, efficient switching power design, TUF component, so this is very important, certified by Minity Standard, so, and also Linus said this in his video, guys. I'm gonna put the link below, so you can also check his video. This is really like Minity with great industry there. Through SATA and, okay, USB 3.0. I mean, you get really all the nice stuff. When I opened the box, I was really pleasantly surprised to see that I have like six packs of two gigabytes of this perfect ballistic tracer, you know, crucial memory. Because maybe my friend told me that he's gonna give me like eight gigabytes of RAM, but in fact, he just made me a present. So now I, when I was counting them, guys, I have six all together, RAM chips all together, 12 gigabytes of RAM and then he also made me a gift by sending me like this very brand new Arctic Mix 3 um, silver paste which I have to, I will apply this of course to the core of the CPU just like a bit of a drop and then put the 
mm, cooler there and this is here like the main mainboard and I can tell you this mainboard really looks amazing here it is guys and I can tell you this weighs like a ton I mean you can really tell it's a high quality product back in the days so right now of course it's obsolete but you can just see all the heat pipes and all the radiators it's really crazy you know like this technology they had back in the days really very premium product it has all the ports that I need probably even much more is this here like optical audio probably this PS2 port USB ports whatever ports you need and it has of course also like all the surround stuff from the sound and in the end of the day yeah it just weighs a ton so I'm gonna be putting this inside here and hopefully I'm gonna get a little bit more of a power when I'm retiring now my current configuration so goodbye my current configuration you served me very well and yeah it was a pleasure and then welcome my new configuration so guys this is the asus so guys this is the asus p5q pro and i just removed it from the case and you can still see you can still see here there is still some turbo paste applied on the xeon far 5460 guys and you might have also seen like the big noctua like this thing is really huge um, and uh, you can really apparently run this with a one fan or uh, what would it be like a one fan mode like a two fan mode but this thing is really huge and i'm not even sure if i want i want to install this one here on the new motherboard so this is now the new motherboard uh, the saber tooth x58 i mean new in brackets because apparently it's like a thing like eight nine years old and this is guys the ram that i'm going to install like the crucial ballistics tracer ddr3 each of this is uh, two gigabytes of RAM, so I have all together like six. So it's going to just even very well here. And I'm just wondering, guys, should I just stick with the stock cooling that we have here, or should I use like this beast, or maybe I should sell this beast? And I was thinking maybe, maybe I'm gonna try that just with a stock cooler here, you know, with the stock cooler that comes with the Intel processor. This so let's put it is inside the package, guys. And here inside, you can see there is the tiny tiny processor all right so what can you read here costa rica intel confidential guys i'm not sure if you've seen this and i know this is kind of like a special one xeon w3550 this should be quite a quite quite good capable cpu chip yeah this is now the stock cooling from intel and i'm just thinking guys i'll probably put this one here install it on the top of the CPU and I'm not gonna go back to this huge beast I'm gonna try to sell this on the market so let's see how much money I can get for that one so I am putting now this new Xeon W3550 inside the new Sabre what was it like Sabre Tooth X85 and the Intel fan together <sighs> let's see how this goes thumbs up and wish me luck and don't forget I'm gonna put also this nice chips inside some changes in the plans guys i decided to not install this stock cooler because i'm gonna clock this xeon to at least 4g so i'm going to install the beast again and i'm just mounting now the mounting points i had to remove this one here this is the adapter on the black plate because this has been used only for the uh, lga755 socket so this is a different one i think 1366 so let's go forward we are now at the end of this big exercise and as you can see i have decided to leave the noctua big animal here because I am already clocking my Xeon W3550 up to almost 4 gigahertz as I also clocked the RAM guys and I actually decided to not leave things like this so I'm gonna jump to the next level I bought these SanDisk 3D SSD size of 500 G today so I'm going to install that and of course also using a SATA 6 gigabyte of cable I'm gonna put it into this case here install it there and then hopefully you know just put this rig together guys and yeah just take it to the next level so i hope you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for my channel for more good stuff i also thought that putting the ssd inside my pc would have been the end for this upgrade and uh, yeah unluckily there is there are still some stuff that i have to sell on the aftermarket guys like these flawless m audio audio file 2496 because it's running on the PCI slot so I have only one PCI, PCI slot I have only one PCI slot on my new motherboard but I cannot access it because of the video card and guys as I was thinking that this would have been the end of my infamous upgrade I could not resist and I went for the 
Gigabyte, 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 GeForce GTX 1060, 1060. So, unfortunately, it is the 3 gigabyte edition, but I bought this base for 100 euro, which I think is pretty pretty nice price, given the fact that it costed almost like 320 euro one year, several months ago. So I have now installed this beast inside my box, and yeah, I'm more than happy as you can imagine. And I put the beast already here, guys. And I have some good news for myself. This one is just using run, run railing, guys, as to the old card, you know, the RTR 9 280 Sapphire, whatever. It was, it was using two ratings, so this car is definitely better. It's I think it's at least like two generations newer than mine because the old one, the R9 280, compared to the GTX 770. So then we have the 900 and we have the 1000. So this one is the 1060, and I can hardly wait to run my PC, run Formark, run some games. And at the end of the day, the final piece that will be arriving here are two new blocks of RAM, two new chips of RAM, each of 8 gigabytes. so until that I'm gonna go with that one, uh, but I think I pretty much consider my upgrade complete, maybe I'm gonna change also the CPU from the Xeon W3550 to the Xeon X5760, but uh, okay, I must just gather first some money. So guys, that's the upgrade. So now this is really gonna be the end of the video, and by the way, I am still waiting now to get two blocks of 8 gigabyte each RAM. I bought it on eBay, but okay, probably I'm gonna make like another like short update video. Right now this piece is already inside here and this is kind of like the final upgrade at this point of time. And actually I'm gonna render this video on my new PC and see you know how fast hopefully it has become. So guys, many thanks for watching this video. Support me, as you can see my hardware is like 10 years old. This will not stop me. Uh, in making nice videos for you guys. I hope you like them. Hit the thumbs up and see you very, very soon.